surfs up and filmed in ultra slow motion. This footage was shot off the west coast of Ireland by this man, Andy Janssen. The filmmaker has been here for two weeks to capture images of surfers tackling waves of the larger variety. It's always important for me to get sunny shots, and shots that are spontaneous are usually the best ones, plus surf spray. Today, Janssen is filming Let's Be Frank, a documentary on the life of one of the best surfers in the world, Frank Solomon. This is the first time the filmmaker has worked with the South African surfer. He's a cool guy, lots of fun. And it's easy to work with him. He's a real pro and everything is really well organized. Can you turn a little bit, a bit in that direction? Word of Andy Janssen's talents has spread around in the surfing scene, where he is considered a go-to filmmaker. At 27, he's constantly in demand as both a director and cameraman. Janssen has also worked with windsurfing legend extraordinaire Robbie Nash. I really enjoy the energy and dynamism of surfing. And especially being out in the fresh air, that's great. And the people are fantastically upbeat. And Janssen's speciality is one of the toughest in filmmaking. He often risks his life in the course of a day's work. Towering waves and winds up to gale force 10 are routine. He also has to make sure his equipment is up for the job. Much of his work also consists of waiting. It's really only a fraction of the day. The wave comes, in three hours you have maybe two or three good waves, and you have to film them perfectly. You can't change batteries, polish the lens or anything else. You have to be spot on. Andy Janssen thinks films consisting of nothing but action are boring. His films always tell little stories. Like this portrait of the British kite surfer Hannah Whiteley, who spends several months a year in Cape Town. I want to present the energy that's in me, too. I do that by showing images or conveying whatever has to do with water, or mountains, raw power, beauty, and people. Mention. Andy Janssen grew up in a harbour town in northern Germany, but now lives in Berlin. His training at a publishing house led to his first contacts to the world of surfing. Soon he was hired for film shoots and later commissioned to make promotional videos. When I was about eight, quite young, there were quite a few feature films shot in the town where I lived. And I saw all the big film sets. The dolly, special cameras, all the lighting. And I thought, that's what I want to do someday. Janssen made his first full-length film in 2014, a documentary about Madagascar. He had visited the country on vacation and felt impelled to make a film about it. He spent two months living on the island while filming it. For me, Madagascar was wonderful because of the lovely people, beautiful landscape and amazing animals. And Janssen often finds inspiration for his images when he's with his friends. He says his best ideas come up during conversation. One commission often leads to the next, so he works for months at a time. He says he has little time left for himself. In my free time, I work on my own things. For example, I build cameras or underwater casings, or I'm over the stove cooking, or I hang out with friends. I don't do much partying, even though I live in Berlin. Despite the stress, making his living with films is his dream come true. He'll be shooting in Ireland for another two weeks, and then it's off to Hawaii for his next project. <laughs>